Hi. In this video, I'll be showing you how to save BitLocker key that was that is being saved to a shared drive to Active Directory using PowerShell. So you have two methods of actually saving this saving the the, the recovery key of a, of of a BitLocker to your Active Directory. You can use PowerShell or you can actually use the manual use and do it manually. So, but right now I'm going to show you how to do it using PowerShell. First of all, I have configured with, um, BitLocker on this computer, and the key was manually saved to this shared drive on my domain controller. So here is the key. So if I go to my domain, to my Active Directory, and here you see I have Windows this computer which was actually configured with BitLocker before I moved the computer to this organization unit. So you can see I've already config um, configured this um, Active Directory to actually store BitLocker key on this computer. But because BitLocker was configured before I actually moved the computer to the, to, a diff to the right organization unit, so the key will not be saved automatically to this computer. So how do we go about that? So let me just show you a very simple trick using PowerShell. So let me just start, let me go to the Start menu and start PowerShell. So I'm going to start PowerShell as an administrator. Click yes. So PowerShell is being started. So when PowerShell get started. So I have a script which I'm going to paste on this YouTube. You can as well use this script. So this is the actual script I'm going to use. Let me just bring it. So this is the actual script I'm going to use. So it's going to get, it's going to mount the, the C drive, select, and then expand the property, the key pro, uh, protector. From there, the recovery password will actually be saved and back up to Active Directory. So let me just go to copy this script and paste it in PowerShell. Okay, so now I'm going to run this script. Let's see. So the script, the script is being run at the moment. So right now the script has been actually run, and here you can see um, it has been uh, mounted. So okay, the C drive, the capacity of the C drive. Um, the volume status, which uh, encryption is in progress, encryption percentage, which is 73%, the key protector with the password and the recovery password. Okay, right now, let me show you what happened. This key has been automatically saved to my domain controller. So when I go to my domain controller, here is the computer, which is number W04. Then I just need to go to the organization unit, click refresh, go to the computer. And when I go to my computer, I go to BitLocker. Here you can see that the password has been saved to Active Directory. And you have the recovery password and you have the password ID. And you can see the time which this password was actually the date and the time which the recovery password was created. So that is how easy it is actually using the script to actually back up your um, BitLocker recovery key to Active Directory. So I'm going to paste this key this recovery this uh, script in in this video so you can use it actually in your test environment or your production environment which it and it works very very well thank you very much for watching my video my name is kelvin johnson please if this video has, has been of any help to you don't forget to give me a like or a thumb up and you can as well leave a comment and i will reply as quick as possible and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more it related video thank you for taking your time to watch my video. Goodbye.